Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rutter, author of one of my most popular books, The Natural Hair Bible, and founder of HowToBlackHair.com. For this style, I will be teaching you how to do the Mrs. Rudder's Perimeter Crochet Senegalese Twist. The beauty about this style is that it is completely unique. I've created this style so that you can do your Senegalese twist a lot faster, the technique will be a lot easier, and the takedown will be extremely quick. So in order to do this style, you first have to know how to do a couple of things because this is an advanced hairstyle. You have to know how to do cornrow braids as well as crochet braids and Senegalese twists. You will be combining all three of these elements to create this unique look. So now back on to the perimeter crochet Senegalese twist. The style itself involves for you to Senegalese twist the perimeter of your head. So that way it will blend very seamlessly with your crocheted area. So since the rest of your hair is being braided into cornrow braids, you have to crochet your Senegalese twist onto your braid pattern to complete your look. The thing about doing this is that when it's time to actually take down your Senegalese twist, you can just slide them off of your actual cornrow braids. So that way taking them down is extremely fast. Or you could trim off the Senegalese twist from the top of your braids so that way you don't even have to slide them out. The thing is, is that you don't have to unravel by hand. You can simply take the entire twist off of your braid pattern. The only twist you have to take down by hand are your perimeter Senegalese twist. So in order to do this style, you can do this with two different types of techniques. You can actually pre-make your Senegalese twist, which I have done. I've done that with some of the hair and the rest of the hair will be used to Senegalese twist the perimeter or you can actually loop braiding hair onto your braid pattern and then Senegalese twist it while it's crocheted on your head. Both techniques are easy, but I prefer to pre-make the twist first so that way installing them will be extremely fast. So now that you understand the techniques that involves this hairstyle, the following materials you will need to achieve the Mrs. Rudder's Perimeter Crochet Senegalese Twist will be seven packages of braiding hair. You will also need a wide tooth comb, a rat tail comb for parting your hair, duck bill clips to keep your hair sectioned, hair cutting scissors, and then to seal the ends, you will need a large t-shirt or towel with a cup of hot water. And you will also need rubber bands and bobby pins for styling. So once you have all of your supplies and materials ready, in the very next step, step number two, I will be teaching you how to do your crochet braid pattern for your perimeter crochet Senegalese twist. 